My name is Commissioner Frank Avila. I'm a commissioner at the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago. And today, as my guests, I have three guests today. Um, my guest, my first guest here is Dave Choi. Hi, Dave. How Glad to be on the sir? show. And Dave is a plant-based chef. Retired. Retired, and he's the top plant-based chef in the world. And uh, my next guest I have is Michal. And he's a filmmaker, and he's doing a documentary on food choice. Yes, thank you for having me. Oh, uh, thank me on the show. And it's very important now because the way our planet is going is to be concerned about what we're eating because it affects everything. And my third guest I have is um, Joey Bakovich. Uh, he's a, a yoga person, and he calls him Just Be Yoga. Mm -hmm. And also, he has a product out there that is excellent to improve your supplement on your health. And that's, uh, he's an independent distributor for Univera. Yes, thank okay, you. Uh, uh, thanks for being on our show. Now, okay. um, I'd like to ask Michal a question. Mm -hmm. Michal, uh, you mentioned you're a filmmaker. Correct and you're doing a, a food choice documentary. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to do this documentary? I mean, there's so many food <laughs> choice documentary out there. Right, yeah, th that's a great question. Uh, a few years back, uh, I saw the, the impact that uh, ch food choices had on my own life, how changing my, my lifestyle and my diet had in my own health, my own life, and um, that's, uh, I decided to investigate a little further. And I saw that there were uh, a lot of documentaries out there that talked about the relationship of food choices and health, or food choices and the environment, or food choices and animal ethics. Uh, but there weren't that many out there that connected all the dots, that showed the big picture, how the things that we eat affect not only us, not only our health, but also the health of our planet and the lives of other living species. And at the time, I was looking for, for a topic for, for a documentary, and I just thought that would be something that not only would be an in interesting uh, topic, but something that could bring positive change to, to people and to our planet. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, because um, a lot of food documentary out there does not go to 360. Right. It doesn't cover everything. Up. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, um, I'm the commissioner at the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago. And what we do at the district, if a person gets up in the morning, he eats, he drinks, he takes a bath, shampoo, brushes teeth, it all comes into our plant. And they want us to treat it. So we're the back end. Mm -hmm. And every food documentary that I, that's out there doesn't even mention at the end. Correct. And we are at the end <laughs> because we treat all the poop and pee that a person does throughout the day, mm -hmm. all the uh, shampoo, the uh, personal care products that they do, it comes into our plant at the end and we treat it. And it's, so, all, it's all interconnected, you know, the yes. things that we put in our bodies or, or not only the food but the products and all that ends up uh, at your treatment facility. And then we recycle it back into the system. Mm -hmm. And that's how it goes. It, it, it starts with us, it ends at, with us, and we put it back into the system. Yeah. And then we have uh, uh, Chef Dave, and Chef Dave is a plant-based chef. Mm -hmm. And Dave, why did you decide to be a plant-based chef? Well, number one, uh, I'm a Buddhist. Okay. You know, Buddhists honor all the living creatures in this universe. And number two, uh, Human body is designed to uh, you know, use plant-based food as a fuel, than eating all these other, uh, you know, non-plant-based uh, uh, food. So uh, I live my life and practice my life, cooking and and helping many people throughout my career. So uh, uh, health and wellness and happiness of eating plant-based food is, is ultimate choice to live a good life. Well, you, you hit it right on the head, health and wellness. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the key. A person could have all the money in the world, but if he doesn't have health 
or wellness. I mean, what good is all the money? Yeah. So I believe uh, your commissioner of the Water Reclamation Department is like a, uh, you're playing the role of a colon of human body. <laughs> mm -hmm. When we <laughs> eat something, it goes down, filter right through your, all of your digestive yeah. organ, yeah. and then it ends up in your colon. Yeah. And then colon absorb and, 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 and separate toxins and uh, things to regulate and then releasing as a poop. Yeah. You know, so as soon as we flush the toilet, <laughs> well, you, you know, your service is coming. Right, so it comes to be treated. Mm -hmm. that, that's uh, excellent. I think yeah. I'm going to use that for all my shows now. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and we have uh, Joey, and uh, I mentioned he's uh, Just Be Yoga, uh -huh. and he has a supplement, uh, it's called Univera. Uh -huh. Now, on the yoga site, Just Be Yoga, what is Just Be Yoga, Joey? Well, I have been a student of yoga since, uh, since the mid-80s, and... There are so, uh, yoga is probably the most misused word that's out there, okay? And everybody thinks you have to, you know, get into a pretzel and you have to be a contortionist and you have to stand on your head. And the image that people have of yoga is that it's, it's a very esoteric art and it's, it's very hard to do. Well, that's not the whole point of yoga. Yo yoga is a lifestyle, okay? And it includes diet and an end what people get kind of tied up with are what they call the asanas. Everybody thinks that the, the postures is yoga. It's only part of it. But with just be meditation, the most important thing, you know, the human body can only do a few different things. It could think, it could digest food, and it can move. And yoga is just basically a way, of, uh, to me, it's, it's a way of movement. And the more simplified it is, the better, because People, some people are afraid of it. Well, I can't do it because I can't stretch. Well, that's the reason why you do it. And the most important thing for anybody is the human body is the only machine that the more you use it, the better it gets. And what happens? We're, you know, we're in America. Everybody's sedentary. Everybody sits down. They're behind a computer. And, and I've looked at the elderly people, and they basically try to keep them sitting down and quiet and doing it. No move. Um, you know, if you go to yoga retreats, they have a walking meditation. You count, you think, one, two, three, four, yeah, yeah. Do you, you know, know what? what? The, best, the best yoga in the world is walking. Do you know what, uh, Joy? Um, I just read in the Tribune about the Russian premier, uh, do you call Putin? him the uh, Putin? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He mentioned he wants to do yoga. Yes. Because he said he's healthy, but he's not loose he, he doesn't have that flexibility so he wants to do yoga but it, it's amazing we got uh, 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 we got Mihao that is a, a filmmaker and he doing this food documentary but what's different on Mihao among other people is that his mind he put his mindset to change his behavior and that's very hard to do Mihao how can you explain or encourage other people to put their mindset and their behavior to do what you did? Yeah, that's a very good question. I think the, one of the main issues as far as our food choices is misinformation. And uh, the information that most people get about what's healthy and what's not is uh, very influenced by industry. Um, so it, it's difficult sometimes, you know, we, we get uh, misleading messages from, from the media from, and even from our doctors. I mean, doctors are not trained in this field of, of nutrition. They get very little uh, training in that and a lot of them admit it. So sometimes you go uh, to the doctor and they, they might recommend you, you know, a diet that might not be necessarily uh, the optimal for you and that, that was my case. Um, but I think, you know, there is enough information out there on, on the internet and, and in books and, and in movies that people can become empowered. Uh, once they become empowered with the inf this information, uh, they will see that it makes a lot of sense and, you know, they can start implementing it. it it's, it's a little, it can be a little hard in the beginning because, I mean, you, you imagine, you know, you, you ate a certain way your entire life and all of a sudden you're, you're, you're changing, you're giving out all of these foods, but what people have to realize is that it's, it's a short transition process. You know, once 
After a couple of weeks, your taste buds begin to change and your whole, whole body, the chemistry in your body begins to, ch begins to change and you stop craving all the meat and cheese and mm -hmm. all those chemicals that are in those foods that make you basically addicted to them. And you start craving things like, you know, like a kale smoothie or, or a bean and rice burrito, you know, and, and <laughs> things, things like that, you know. So it's, it's a process, but it's not as hard as, as people think it is. Now, now, David, um, uh, you're, you're still uh, catering, right, to uh, people to make them well. Well, I, I, I do, uh, you know, special uh, counseling and guidance you know, work yeah. with many uh, cancer patients. So uh, uh, I connect uh, Dr. Co Colin Campbell to Mihao. So Mihao went to uh, Boston yeah. to interview Dr. Campbell. Oh. So Dr. Campbell believes there's a four element of C that create cancer to grow is yeah. the acidic environment of human body as coming from consumption of sugar, yeast, meat, and dairy protein. So if you eliminate that four seedling soil, you never have to worry about, you know, no, no matter how many your immediate family are you know, diagnosed with cancer, yeah. you don't have to worry about it. So being healthy is not a full service business. It's a self service. You yeah. need to help yourself to walk the walk of journey of living free. And that's where uh, my, my uh, philosophy of, you know, saying constant variation of a hello and goodbye, that's like inhaling or exhaling. It only makes in one breath. Just imagine if trees, if you grow tree, tree will create free uh, Wi-Fi, then everybody will plant a tree. <laughs> you know, we will have more trees than this earth, but tree only gave, gave back to us oxygen that we breathe. Yes. But human doesn't realize that. That's why your mind and body and spirit cannot exist without three elements, air, water, and food. Especially those food should be earthly grounded food, which means types of food that doesn't crawl or fly or run or walk. So food without an eye is the ultimate uh, gift for human can f uh, use it as a fuel and digest and an antioxidant factor to pr prevent all the oxid oxidating uh, and aging process in the human body. Uh, you know, I, uh, you mentioned you, you're semi-retired, mm -hmm. but you pass it on to someone that's very close to you. All your knowledge, all your experience. Who did you pass it on to? Uh, my son just your create son. Yes. a company called Healthful Habits. Yes. They've been on. Healthy Habits. Health, healthful Habits. Healthful Habits. Yeah. Healthful, H-A-L-T-H-F-U-L, uh, Habits okay. in. Yeah. Uh, they just uh, uh, obtained their corporate office in West Chicago. Yeah. They are on the construction of building assembly line for the manufacturing yeah. of uh, this plant-based food. And not processed food. No. Not processed food. Because what uh, Miha was saying, the processed food mm -hmm. that's out there. So this is a, mm -hmm. this here, this plate is the abundance of different flavor of a vegetable and nuts and oat and uh, even, even sweet potato, kale. Kale? Mm -hmm. And this is a types of food that doesn't have Why a don't you pick one up and show it to the audience? Or pick the whole plate up. Yeah. So Thanks. this is like actually a, a good, just try one. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Frank. Okay. Thank you. So this, once you consume this, this, w this will burn in your body as a food, not as a, you know, fake carb or ca fake calorie. Yes. And three years ago, uh, they did supply entire plant-based supplement bar to this paraplegic uh, recovery athlete biking from New York to LA. Ah. He made it, and on Good Morning American Show, he said uh, <laughs> unofficially in the behind, I could not do without this food. Ah. So it gives you full fuel and energy without any junk calorie yeah. and any process, no. any gluten, any sugar. Now, now, what's the ingredients again? Uh, there's some with the uh, uh, 
uh, sweet potato, sweet potato, kale, kale. Uh, oat, nuts. Oh, nuts. Yeah. Uh, provide. You got your protein. Mm -hmm. Yeah, little carbs in there. And antioxidant. And antioxidant. Mm -hmm. And that's what a person needs. To. Uh, and then once you get to through your colon, yeah. if this this bar plops plopped up and absorb all the toxin, all the toxin, yes. in your colon, it help your bowel movement yeah. much better. Yeah. That, and, and that's the key. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know what, uh, we're talking about health and a person gets up in the morning, he goes to work, he's busy, and he doesn't have time to uh, make his own food or, or go to a place that provides the, the good food like Dave's son is going to do. And this is where Joey comes in. Uh, your product is what, Univera, Joey? Yes. That, that will supplement some of the food that a person needs to, to the day. Uh, what is it, Univera? Joey? Well, Univera is a plant-based company. It basically works. It's, it's, it's five different companies, one of which is Unigen, which is a pharmaceutical company. But they make everything out of plants. There's no synthetics. And they've basically got, got the exclusive on, 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 on the metabolic makeover. You know, a human body, by putting the right food into it, by putting, putting the right nutrients into it, you could maintain a, a metabolism of, 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 of a young person. And if you take care of yourself, you know, the average human life is like 78 right now. But as Dave has been preaching all the time, you know, the average life should be 125 if it wasn't for the stress and the environment and the bad food we're eating. So the most important, you know, you, there's two things you got to do. You got to put, put certain things not in your body and you got to put certain good things in your body. And, um, you know, because of me knowing Dave for, you know, for several years, especially when he told me I wasn't going to last too long if I didn't really <laughs> get serious about this stuff, uh, I got on a plant-based diet. And then I found Univera, which is a plant-based, basically pharmaceutical company that, um, you know, made a big difference in my life. You know, I, when I go to my doctor, they said, we don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it. And, um, you know, the last physical I had, the doctor showed me, and I was, I've been with him since my early 30s, and he said, look, you're even better than when you were 33. Here it, here it is. My triglycerides are at 38. He says, well, whatever you're doing, <laughs> keep doing it. I said, you, you know, you're doing that yoga. So keep standing on your head, and you know, you're <laughs> taking that other stuff. That's good, too, you know. I said, well, okay, I'm going to do it. And he says, but you know what? Guys like you put me out of business. <laughs> you know, so. and, you know, and, and that's why it's very important to eat healthy. Because uh, at the Water Reclamation District, we had a study session. And the study session went uh, how to uh, eliminate uh, uh, keeping the pharmaceutical drugs in the water, reducing the amount of pharmaceutical drugs in the water, and, and how to, where to dispose of it. And, and everyone is talking about how to dispose of it, but very few conversation is on prevention, Mihal. Yes. And uh, what do you think about talking about prevention and waiting till it's too late when it's in our body? Is, do you think prevention is, it might be part of the answer, or, or not all of the answer, but a major portion of the answer? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, a lot of the doctors and nutritionists and, and health experts that I interviewed for my film, uh, that's one of the main things they talk about is, you know, preventing disease through diet and lifestyle. Uh, but even for people that, you know, uh, are in a stage where they already have the disease, what people have to realize is that a lot of things like, you know, uh, heart disease, type 2 diabetes and, and, and other things can be reversed or certainly improved with diet. Um, and, you know, one thing that uh, people are often resistant to this, to this uh, change in diet, and that's one thing that I, I wanted to sort of shine some light into, into this topic f through my documentary uh, about all those misconceptions about certain nutrients. You know, a lot of people are afraid of going to a plant on a plant-based yeah. diet because they say, oh, where I'm going to get my protein, yeah. where I'm going to get my calcium, my omega-3s, so I'm going to be able to <laughs> build lean muscle, yeah. and I'm going to be able to still perform as an athlete. So those are things that we want to address because, yeah, absolutely, you, you, you get all your nutrients from plants and you can still uh, perform as an athlete and, and, and be healthy on those diets. And, and that's why I'm so glad to see Chef Dave's son 
is, is trying to, to promote uh, the food that he's going to start preparing. Uh, is that in West, West Chicago? Yeah, West Chicago. It's, because when, when you go to the store, you see a lot of processed food on the shelf. So there's very, uh, uh, very few selections for a person to buy off the shelf to eat uh, 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 not processed food. I mean, that's all you see is on the shelf mm -hmm. there. So, so what, what Joey is doing on his Univera with Dave's son, what, what's his name? Uh, Junior, David Junior. Oh, uh, David Junior, that's a good name. <laughs> 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 and and so, so this way they're gonna give a person a choice mm -hmm. on what to buy, to, to buy the, a product that's not processed, that have all the ingredients in there to make them healthy. And then this product uh, definitely has an, has an expiration date yeah. and you could only find them at refrigerated section, oh, yeah. you know, when it's the distribute. Yes. Why? Because if you, if you leave it in a room temperature over a you know, period of days, yeah. it's going to get spilled. Because it's alive. Yeah, nothing like you could eat yeah. cheeseburger from McDonald's for after <laughs> three years, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know, <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. it, 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 it injected with all yeah. kinds of a preservative yeah. to not to get spoiled, to keep the, keep the uh, shelf life longer. So that's like a maximizing their profit level, yeah. you know. So you could keep somewhere yeah. in the freezer for a long time to use it, you know. Yeah, and, 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 and that's the problem we're having in the United States. We're having trouble, you read the paper where our kids are not learning. Our kids have adult diseases because they're born with adult diseases. Our, the medical bills is skyrocketing and, and, and we have a more crime because uh, the kids that are exposed to all these toxic chemicals and their personal care products and the food affects the brain, their, their learning, and, and, and that's why we have a lot of problems in our society. What's your opinion on that, Mihal? Well, absolutely. There's, there's so, much, uh, so many chemicals that are put in things that we consume daily that we don't even know about. And, you know, uh, uh, talk, in talking about this, uh, you know, I was uh, at the, the store the other day and I wanted to buy some uh, little cookies for my daughter. I have a 10-month-old yeah. daughter. And in the, in the child section of the supermarket, you have all those nice, colorful products that say organic and all this. But I think it's, it's very important that people look at the, at the back label, to look at the ingredients. And I was uh, really shocked to see that, you know, a, a little snack for, for, for a baby had perhaps, you know, 50 different ingredients. 50 different. You know, and, and half of those I couldn't even pronounce the names. <laughs> so how, how can that be good for, for a yeah. small 10-month uh, baby and uh, I think that's that's a huge problem uh, people need to get in the habit of looking back at the labels if, if it has too many names that you cannot pronounce uh, you know just just be aware avoid those products the, the less products it has you know usually it's the better <laughs> like you know the, this uh, a power bar that uh, Chef Dave is putting together I mean it's all natural food there's no yeah. preservatives no chemicals nothing those are the types of uh, products that we should be looking to consume for ourselves and for our families. And I, I'm glad you mentioned natural. Uh, you go to the store and now the manufacturers are using this word natural. Which doesn't mean anything. It really. doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. Natural, natural. Everything is natural. But as you mentioned, when you look uh, back at a box on the labeling, mm -hmm. they got uh, so many types of ingredients in that box and now they want to uh, pass a bill nationally or statewide, not the label. Hmm. And, <laughs> and, right. and, and, and to me, I think that, uh, I hope they don't, I hope they keep labeling the product so we can make a choice on what to buy. Correct. See, and, and so it, it, it's a big problem what we're having now, Joey. Mm -hmm. and, and, but, but we're talking about food that we put in our mouth, but our pores also intake mm -hmm. things in our body. What's your opinion on that, Joey? Well, you know, I think we're caught in an environment. We have an internal environment. We have an external environment. You know, and if we're absorbing uh, toxic waste through the air, I mean, you know, when our great grandparents were around, you know, they probably didn't experience what we can experience f in 15 minutes, you know, on State and Madison. You know, you got buses going by, you've got everything. You know, so, the, you know, we have to preserve our, ourself because of the environment we're in. 
you know, and you know, our grandparents didn't have have to worry about you know antioxidants and didn't have to worry about um, carcinogens. <laughs> they didn't have them. They lived in a natural life. They lived. They were in harmony with the earth. You know, they probably grew their own food most of it. Now, I mean, you know, you, you, you leave your house at 7.30 in the morning. By the time you come to, ni you know, come to work at 9 o'clock downtown, you've been bombarded with so many environmental toxins. Yes. That, you know, th and your body is, like Dave says, your body is fighting. It's, it'll do whatever you do. If you put junk in it, you know, guess what? It'll work with it. Eventually, it's going to go kaput. And, and me, um, you know, on your documentary, <clears throat> uh, there's a lot of companies out there, manufacturers, mm -hmm. that make big dollars out of processed food right and they're afraid that they're going to lose this profit mm -hmm. so so what's your opinion on, on telling the people to get educated and 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 start looking at what you're buying because you put it food in your mouth but you're also putting personal care products on your body your pores right. intake also that goes into your, your body also yeah. so so what's your take on profit Put your food well, <laughs> yes, uh, I mean, there's uh, a lot of companies making billions of dollars out there uh, selling products that are not necessarily the healthiest uh, for us. Uh, but, you know, o overall, I I'm not, you know, an enemy of the, of the processed food industry per se. I mean, I think there's, there's a, a place for processed food. You know, when there's a, a hurricane in Haiti, I mean, people need those foods, you know, they need those goods that are not perishable, you know, yeah. the, so they can eat and, and survive. So th there, is a, there is a place in, in, in the market for processed foods. But, you know, when you consume that every day, every day, you know, and, and it's all, a, it's, it's a, it has a cumulative effect in your body. You know, uh, if you keep eating, you know, animal foods and, and, and processed foods your entire life, I mean, it's not going to take a day, it's not going to take a week, it's not going to take a month, it might not take, you know, many years, but eventually it will catch up with you you know, and it will manifest itself as disease, you know. That's why the more you can uh, try to eat as close uh, foods that are the closest to its natural state, which are whole plant foods. And David, any last comment? Uh, 30 seconds. Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, you know, there's three stages in human life. From the moment you're born till the age, age 30, this is in this disruptable stage. So you could do everything, no matter what you drink, smoke, your body is you know, sustainable. From 30 to 60, now it's breaking down stage. Everything, every new sign come back and hunt you. And then from 60 to whatever uh, engagement from longevity we call, it's all about management. So freedom of being, freedom of life is good, but one day in freedom, in healthy life is better than 100 years in bandage of all the <laughs> prescription drug. Okay.